back again on the channel and today we're gonna do a comparison video between uh, Redmi Note 9S, Realme 6i and Moto G8 Power. All these three devices are coming from that low budget to mid-range zone and we're gonna test out the sound today. We're gonna go on YouTube, we're gonna see the quality of the display and uh, we're gonna go into a game we're gonna see if we can put on HD and maybe ultra HD why not and I'm gonna tell you about the battery life and I'm just gonna start saying that all these three devices has been released this year and we got Redmi Note 9s release on the April 30 was not too long away and we got Realme 6i which has been released in the end of March and we got Moto G8 Power which has been released also in April. But I'm just gonna say the price for each phone which are quite similar at least for Redmi Note 9s and Realme 6i where you can find it at around 189 pounds and Moto G8 Power also can be found at this price but second hand or brand new at around 219 pounds which is the most expensive one. Okay let's talk about the dimensions of these three devices if you can see they are slightly different the tallest one it's Redmi Note 9s followed by Realme 6i and Moto G8 Power talking about the dimensions Let's see the thickness. We got an 8.8 um, millimeter thickness for Redmi Note 9S. We got an um, 9 millimeters for Realme 6i and 9.6 millimeters for Moto G8 Power. Okay, let's see which one is the heaviest. We got 209 grams for. Redmi Note 9S which is also the heaviest from uh, these three devices. We got also a weight of 199 grams for Realme 6i and we got a weight of 197 grams for Moto G8 Power which means these two are quite uh, similar except Redmi Note 9S. Now, if you're talking about uh, if they got Corina Gorilla Glass, yes, we got on Redmi Note 9S, which is a Corina Gorilla Glass 5. Also, we got a uh, glass front for Realme 6i and the same glass front for Moto G8 Power. We got a plastic frame for all three devices, but uh, Moto G8 Power is coming with an aluminium frame 6000 series. Now, all three devices are dual SIM, so you can put two SIM cards in your devices. But, if you can see for Redmi Note 9S and Realme 6i, we got a support for micro SD on the same tray, which for Moto G8 Power, we got support for micro SD, but you have to take one of your SIM cards off the tray, so you're gonna have only one SIM card and one micro SD. All three devices are coming with uh, splash resistant. We got splash proof for Redmi Note 9S, splash resistant for Realme 6i and Moto G8 Power. And now if you can see the brightness on all three devices, at this moment the brightness are um, on the mid level and uh, we're gonna put it on the highest so you can make an opinion on the, how good, how bright you can see on all these three devices. Um, I've been uh, using all these three phones in the last week and I've seen that um, Realme 6i is not that bright even in the daylight and I do struggle to see something on the screen. We got an IPS LCD on all three devices. We got the size of 6.67 inch for Redmi Note 9S. We got 6.5 inch for Realme 6i and 6.4 inch for Moto G8 Power. The display is a uh, full HD plus for Redmi Note 9S only HD for Realme 6i and the same uh, full HD like uh, Redmi Note 9S for Moto G8 Power. 
but the brightness if you can see are so different with the lowest for realme 6i is not that bright that i should expect it but this is improving the battery life and talking about the battery life let's go on settings for all these three devices let's go on um, digital well-being digital well-being and digital uh, well-being we got a massive battery of uh, 5020 milliampere for Redmi Note 9S with fast charging on 18 watts. We got a massive 5000 milliampere battery and fast charging on 18 watts for Realme 6i. And uh, 5000 milliampere battery, fast charging 18 watts for Moto G Power. And now you can see the difference between the display, the brightness. At this moment, they are still. On maximum they are not on uh, automatic so they are on maximum brightness and you can see such a difference between these three devices with not that great for realme 6i but talking about the battery in my opinion this is the king battery phone of course okay so I did get um, on this smartphone not now but on the beginning when i use it let's have a look yeah over 10 hours on screen on time even 11 hours and 28 minutes without a charge so this hold me even 12 hours at some point for redmi note 9s i didn't use it that much this is between two charges but um, it's good enough but doesn't hold me the same like uh, on uh, realme 6i i do get like seven to eight hours on screen on time and for moto g8 power it's quite the same like on um, uh, redmi note 9s i didn't use it that much this uh, moto the main one was the realme 6i because of the battery life which uh, after a long day i still had like 20% of the battery. So the king of battery this moment it's Realme 6i. Like I said I did get like uh, 12 hours on screen on time followed by um, Redmi Note 9S and the Moto G8 power with around 7 to 8 hours which is still good enough but I still have to charge the phone um, at the end of the day. We got 6 gigabytes of RAM for Redmi Note 9S, uh, 4 gigabytes for Realme 6i, and another 4 for Moto G8 Power, 128 storage against 128, and 64 storage for Moto G8 Power. And now let's go on the chipset, and we got a Snapdragon 720G on 8 nanometers for. Redmi Note 9S, we got an uh, Helio G80 on 12 nanometers for Realme 6i, and we got a Snapdragon 665 uh, for Moto G8 power. The GPU is an Adreno 618, we got a uh, Mali G52 and Adreno 610 for Moto G8 power. And being said, let's go on uh, Call of Duty. And uh, let's see if you can put this game on the, um, HD or maybe Ultra HD. Let's see how you can run this game on any of these three devices. Okay, so we are in the game now and I'm going to show you between uh, Redmi Note 9S and Realme 6i which one uh, can be put on very high quality graphics and we're gonna start with Redmi Note 9s and if you can see you can put on very high graphics and uh, frame rate also on very high you can tick uh, deeper field bloom and uh, real-time shadow and everything uh, that this uh, phone support even on dynamic standard realistic so yeah this one support uh, everything on very high on the other side we got um, Realme 6i which is not that great 
so the graphic quality would be only on low and the frame rate on medium and it does allow you only to select deep of field at this moment and that's it nothing else so not very good on graphic quality for realme 6i let's move on moto g8 power now and also same like uh, redmi note 9s you can select on graphic quality between low medium high and let's see on very high yes very high and the frame rate on low medium high and very high also you can select depot field also and you can tick all the boxes without any problem and you can put on realistic dynamic and standard uh, which is really good so for Moto G8 power and uh, Redmi Note 9S you can select very high uh, quality graphics uh, when uh, playing games but not the same for Realme 6i which doesn't support um, even medium graphic quality not saying about high and very high but if you're asking about uh, the gameplay and which one it's uh, feeling better I would say you can have a nice um, gameplay on Moto G Power just because this one it's coming with stereo speakers so you're gonna have that uh, nice uh, surround sound when uh, playing games and uh, talking about the sound let's test the quality of the sound and uh, we're gonna find out uh, which one it's uh, the loudest and which one can be quite uh, low on the sound so we got uh, three videos we're gonna test all these three devices and you can make an opinion at this moment we got the volume uh, on uh, not maximum it's quite on the middle for all three devices if you can see and we're gonna test like that and after that we're gonna put on maximum so you can make an opinion how far these phones can go Let's uh, play a song. So this is on um, medium. Seems a bit uh, more loud on uh, Realme at this moment. Not very loud also on uh, Moto. Let's try again. Redmi Note 9S. Yeah, much louder on uh, Realme 6i. This one is over Moto G power, very loud on medium and now let's test on maximum to see the difference. We got maximum on uh, Redmi, maximum on uh, Realme and uh, maximum on Moto G power. Like I said on uh, games Moto G power it's coming with uh, stereo speakers so we got one here one here which um, it's uh, best on listening music in my opinion okay let's go very loud now and let's test again starting with redmi note 9s Now maximum seems that uh, Redmi Note 9S it's uh, much louder than uh, Realme 6i. Let's have a look. Yes, much louder on Redmi Note 9S on maximum volume than Realme 6i. Let's have a look on Moto G Power now. Yes, it's loud enough and uh, let's have a look between uh, Redmi Note 9S and Moto G Power, which one is loudest? Quite loud, all of them. 
and this one is not very loud on maximum volume. So the loudest, uh, I would say, uh, Redmi Note 9S on maximum volume and Moto G power, but it's much better on mid volume for Realme 6i. Well, I don't know which one you can uh, say it's better, but you can leave a comment if you want. And now let's play a 4K video. Let's see if we can uh, run on all these three devices or even on full HD or just HD. Let's have a look. Okay, so we are in a 4K 60 frame per second HDR Ultra HD video on YouTube. And uh, let's see the main difference between uh, Redmi Note 9S and Moto G8 Power at this moment. So you can play this video on maximum full HD 60 frame per second on Redmi Note 9S and the same for Moto G8 Power and uh, you can play this video only on a 720 which means HD at 60 frame per second but not HDR on um, Realme 6i and let's uh, just play this video and let's uh, have a look at least on the display let's pinch this out and also you can uh, make an opinion about the display which one does look better in your opinion still not very bright on uh, Realme 6i and is not gonna get that bright but uh, let's compare this um, Redmi Note 9S and Moto G8 Power more uh, vivid colors on Moto G8 Power in my opinion and uh, yeah more natural colors on Moto G8 Power if you can see you can make the difference and let's have a look now on uh, Realme 6i the differences against uh, Redmi Note 9S which uh, looks quite alright but uh, Redmi looks a bit better yeah and the brightness it's matter at this moment so it's important to have a good quality on your smartphone so very bright on a Redmi Note 9S followed by Moto and the last one uh, Realme 6i but the colors are looking a bit better on uh, Moto G Power only in my opinion of course and with that stereo speakers you'd have a nice uh, great quality on watching movies on Netflix or watching videos on uh, YouTube and now let's move on other specifications and uh, let's see with uh, what else these uh, devices are coming with we are on the K menu so we got uh, the following uh, apps settings and uh, features on um, Redmi Note 9S like uh, Wi-Fi, same for Realme 6i and Moto G to power data, of course, we got location on all three devices and auto brightness, of course, on all three devices. We got screen recorded on Redmi Note 9S, same for Realme 6i and I'm not sure about um, Moto G power and doesn't look like. We got flashlight and we got flashlight should have on uh, all three devices. Yes, all three devices coming with uh, flashlight and uh, let's see what else we got. So, Mi Remote, which I like it all the time. I like uh, the Mi Remote, so it's coming with that uh, AR infrared, if I can say. So you can control your TV and uh, your fan or what else you got in your house. We don't have uh, this uh, feature on Realme 6i or Moto G8 Power. We got screenshots on all these three devices. If you're asking about NFC, the only one that support NFC is Realme 6i, which is a great feature if you want to make payments. So we don't have NFC on uh, Redmi Note 9S and Moto G8 Power. Also, we got dark mode on uh, all three devices. Let's move now on camera. 
and let's have a look from the back because at this point you haven't seen the back of these three devices very beautiful uh, Redmi Note 9s but it's a magnet for fingerprints have a look look at this and I can say the same for Moto G Pow it's a magnet for fingerprints but what do I like about Realme 6i is that I didn't have to use the case from the box because it's not that much a fingerprint magnet and I like this quite matte finish I like it you don't see the fingerprints that much and doesn't slide up well uh, when you're using the phone so I like it but all the time I do use um, a case for Redmi Note 9s and I like that mate cases for this phone so we got the big 48 megapixel main camera for Redmi Note 9s and another 48 megapixel main camera for Realme 6i but we got only a 16 megapixel camera for Moto G8 power after that uh, we got an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera 5 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel deep camera for Redmi Note 9s we got also an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera for Realme 6i a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel uh, deep camera and for Moto G power got an 8 megapixel telephoto camera an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera let's turn these devices and uh, let's go back on the main menu let's go on the settings go on settings go on settings and uh, photo video size we can record on 4K Ultra HD on Moto G8 Power. Let's see for Realme 6i the video quality, video resolution only on full HD. And for Realme Note 9s, if we go in on settings again, the video quality it's maximum uh, yeah 4K 30 frames per second. Yeah, full HD 30 frames per second, full HD 60 frames per second, or 4K uh, 30 frames per second, and we got uh, image stabilization. The not best one, it's Realme 6i, only full HD, and uh, that said, also on the channel you had a video, a comparison video between uh, Realme and uh, Moto G8 Power about the camera so you can have a look on that video and you can make an opinion about how good is camera between these two devices I haven't done any comparison video with the camera for Redmi Note 9s but maybe next time we can do it on the front you can see they got different design they got that punch hole right in the middle uh, center for Redmi Note 9s and that punch hole it's on the left side for Moto G power also we got that uh, drop notch for Realme 6i the camera on uh, these three devices are 16 megapixel for Redmi Note 9s and we can record on full HD 30 frames per second we got a 16 megapixel wide camera and we can record full HD 30 frames per second and we got also another 16 megapixel wide camera and we can record full HD at 30 frames per second asking about Bluetooth we got 5.0, 5.0, 5.0 and we got a Wi-Fi A, B, G, N, A, C dual band, Wi-Fi direct and hotspot for Redmi Note 9s we got a Wi-Fi BGN without AC and we got also Wi-Fi Direct and Hotspot for Realme 6i and for Moto G Power we got Wi-Fi BGN again without the AC and we got uh, Wi-Fi Direct and Hotspot so this should be better on Wi-Fi connectivity because got that standard AC also we got uh, radio on all three devices and uh, let's have a look on the port on the bottom we got the jack audio USB type C port and the uh, speaker grill right here like I said we can charge this uh, smartphone on 18 watts 
For Realme 6i, we got the same standard Jack Audio, USB Type C port, 18 watts fast charging, and the speaker grill. And let's have a look on the Moto G8 Power. We got a USB Type C port on the bottom and uh, the speaker grill and on the top we got that jack audio now these three devices are coming with the fingerprint scanner so we got the fingerprint on the side for redmi note 9s and it's good enough fast enough not the fastest and let's have a look on uh, realme 6i which the fingerprint is on the back and seems to be quite fast very fast yeah quite fast and the last one moto g8 power we got the same uh, fingerprint on the back and let's have a look it's not that fast like on uh, realme 6i no it's not that fast also we got a uh, face id at least for redmi note 9s and moto g power and uh, let's do a test let's have a look on uh, three two one yeah very fast on a realme 6i even if i put my phone down and see my face well, instant uh, is gonna unlock the phone, so it's very fast. Sometimes it's annoying because I put my phone on the table like this, and I don't get to put it down, and it's already unlocked. It. So this Face ID, it's very fast on uh, Realme 6i. Come on, yeah. Realme 6i very fast on uh, Face ID. Well, now. I hope you make an opinion. It's been a long video. I hope I cover everything. Talk about the battery, sound quality, display, brightness and um, games. I don't know all the specification that you need to know about these three devices. So uh, like I said, king of battery, it's Realme 6i which is a great phone i did use this phone quite a lot just because of that battery it's annoying me this brightness which could be a bit brighter would be better for me the redmi note 9s it's a nice stylish phone good nice design nice color great display if you can uh, see in this video the sound quality it's good enough very loud also moto g power i quite like this phone i like this um, punch hole in the left side doesn't bother me too much i like uh, that it's coming with those uh, stereo speakers and i quite like the camera which uh, it's uh, i don't know same if not better than uh, redmi note 9s and uh, well this is it a nice very long um, comparison video between uh, Redmi Note 9s, Realme 6i and Moto G8 Power. Hope you like it, enjoy it, uh, make an opinion about um, how this phone can be and um, if you want give it a like, share, subscribe and see you soon with another video.